Regan Slaymaker for International Boxing News and I have the pleasure to be joined by super featherweight contender Archie Sharp. Archie, it's weigh-in day and I was just saying to you, back to you on the big stage mate. No, I'm back here mate on the big stage so I'm glad to be back, excited to be back and uh, looking forward to putting on a good show tomorrow. Definitely mate, we're looking forward to seeing you back obviously. It's been a, bit, been a bit of a frustrating time for yourself as well but obviously excited to have this fight on Saturday back with Frank Warren and Queensbury Promotions. Yeah, for sure. But like you say, it's been very frustrating. Um, a lot of politics and things going on, but look, we, we're, we're here now. Everything's all good. Life's all good. And I'm excited to put, display a big show tomorrow and back on the big TV, back on TNT Sports. And uh, after this, we we'll move on to some big fights and take care of business tomorrow. Definitely. One of the kind of politics that, I mean, I, I asked you, I, th I don't know what fight night it was at your call the other week, but um, you ordered for the European title, it was going back and forth and things like that. How, how was that whole situation for you? To be honest with you, I don't even know what happened, what even happened with that. Someone said that I was ordered for it. We said we were keen to fight for the EBU. And then the, the company that I was with at the time, it just all got slipped and put under the radar. So I don't really know whatever went on with that. But yeah, like I say, we're here today now and we're moving on. We're back with Frank and Frank can get us the big shows and the big fights. So, uh, so yeah, I'm excited. Definitely, mate. We were excited to see the sharpshooter back as well. Yesterday at a press conference, I had to touch on it. I mean, Dev was well and truly stirring the pot. You weren't having any of it, and fair play to you for not. But he, he mentioned Ryan Garner's name with with you both winning on Saturday. That definitely a fight that kind of could play out with a win. It's a potential fight. Like I said, the Dev yesterday, it's all potential, you know. But we, what you got to realise is the last two, three years, my name's been mixed with Shakur Stevenson, Navarrete, Oscar Valdez, some big names, you know. So obviously, I, I wanna, I've got no time to waste around anymore. I just want to get straight back to it. I know I touched a nerve yesterday with uh, Shakur Stevenson, who replied to a few things. So, so yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens. But I'm more than happy to go to lightweight to fight Shakur. That's not a problem either. No, definitely. We, well, we hope that fight pays off as well. I do want to touch on kind of your WBO ranking. I mean, it's been a bit frustrating seeing your posts when kind of you were ranked number one for so long. You didn't get the fights. You were inactive. No fault of your own. You've always stayed ready in the gym. And you've dropped down to, I think, WBO. Is it five or four? WBO number four. I mean, how does it feel to kind of... You've not fought. You're still undefeated. And you've dropped down the rankings. It's a bit of a confusing situation. It's very confusing and it's a hard one to get your head around all the time, especially when you're seeing other fighters getting the opportunities and pushed, pushed in front of you. I've done my stripes, I, got, I hurt myself to number one in the WBO and uh, unfortunately it never planned out. But look, we're, we're still number four, we're still at a good position. We're only one fight away, you know, we're only one fight away and we're back there, so it's not a problem at all. We'll get there and we'll, and we'll make sure we'll win it. No, definitely. You mentioned kind of Albert Bell previously before. I think, I think there was, there was uh, some discussions about that. So you mentioned the likes of Navarrete and Shakur as well. Obviously, they're at lightweight, but obviously you've been at super featherweight a long time. Likely to move to lightweight to fight those two? Yeah, definitely. One million percent, like I said. We'll see how we get on with, see what happens with the Navarrete's fighting next week at 135, but the belt's still tied up with him at the minute. So until he does anything with that, we'll see what happens. So there'll be a lot of movement in the BO in the next couple of, the next couple of weeks. And then, yeah, we'll go and pick up a world title at 130, and then we'll go to 135 and clear that up as well. No, definitely as well. Oscar Valdez has that interim title as well. So if he, uh, if Navarrete does vacate, he gets elevated. Definitely in for a shot against Oscar Valdez. Yeah, exactly that. This is a fight I've been screaming for for a long time. Roy Jones, obviously, is a head coach. He's uh, he, he's been encouraging myself to get that fight, get that fight over the line with Navarrete or Valdez. Definitely. I mean, I mean, you've just mentioned a legend there. I can't, I can't like uh, pick up that name drop that you've just put down. But kind of, what is it like having him in and around the gym? Yeah, it's unbelievable, you know, like I'm learning so much, I've learned so much and I'm still learning more. So we've got Richard Sawyer, who I've been with since day dot anyway, we've got Ian Weaver as well, and then, and then we're all like, under the guidance of uh, Roy Jones, you know, so it's perfect. The, the stuff that he's been teaching myself and, and the other, like Ian and Richard as well, because it's interesting to see how the Americans and um, someone who's like, been at the, at the elite at the elite level, how they train and how they um, watch things and do things and that is, it's, just, it's really good and all, all it does is in, encourages myself because Roy believes in what I can do and he knows that we can go on and win world titles. Definitely and we look forward to seeing it as well. Archie that was my final one. You got any final words for the fans heading to York Hall tomorrow night? Uh, thank you for, for coming out, thank you for tuning in and I'm looking forward to putting on a good show for you all tomorrow. Definitely mate and we look forward to seeing it. Hopefully catch you after. Cheers uh, Archie. Cheers, thank, yeah. thank you very no, much. I appreciate that mate.